What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. It's been about a week since I made my last sneaker video. I actually made a video on the Ultra Boost 1.0 Triple Blacks. If you haven't, please go check that out. It's doing really good right now. It actually has like, uh, I think 1.5, something like that. I don't really remember, but um, yeah, go check that out. You guys are showing hella love on that video. I appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So today, what I have for you guys is a pair of Yeezy 380s. About a month ago, I actually made a video on a another pair of 380s it was the mist colorway but recently they just released a pair i grabbed the size 10 and a half because these do run true to size but they are a little bit snug but once you like wear them in and stuff like that they'll be gucci this is the pepper colorway one thing i noticed when opening the um sneaker box is that they came with red laces and I think this is like the first time Yeezy has ever sent out shoes with like different laces to like lace swap with. Honestly, I, I think it's pretty cool. I like these red laces. Once I show you guys the sneakers, let me know in the comment section what you think, if I should lace swap these or not. I don't really know what I want to do yet. So I showed my friends the red laces. They didn't really like them. They said it wouldn't be cool to uh, lace swap them with the sneakers. But once I show you guys the sneakers, just let me know what you think in the comment section. I think it'll be pretty decent. I don't know what I'm going to do yet though. I did watch a video on YouTube of somebody trying to lace swap them and it just looked like this dude was just struggling the whole time so i'm not trying to go through all that just to put different laces inside the sneaker let me show you guys the sneaker here we go easy 380 pepper colorway i'm gonna give you guys a 360 in the shoe let me know what you guys are thinking right now in the comment section below it really helps out the video taking a look at the laces here this is something new that i noticed on the pair of yeezys too um i don't know if these are glued together but like i said i was watching a video earlier i'm gonna try and pull it out and see if it see if it works but it's not working so i think what they did was they ended up putting some glue in there to keep the laces together i don't know why they did that because with the with the last pair of 380s that they released uh, you could actually just tie them up and like put them in a knot if you wanted to i don't know if they thought this would be a better approach getting rid of uh like tying your shoes or something like that but i like it i think it's pretty cool but like i said a lot of people are going to be lace swapping these so why send another pair of laces if you're going to just super glue the shoe strings together i don't know what it is but 380s they, they've been slept on ever since they released i don't know why but my personal opinion, I like them. I like the way they fit on my uh, foot. I like the way they look on feet. They give me a couple inches in height. Like these, these boys are hard. I don't know why people aren't liking these or whatever. I don't, I don't get it. You know, that's usually how it goes. Maybe in uh, the next year or a couple months, people will start rocking these, and then the resale will go up on them. Retail for these are actually two hundred and forty dollars shipped. You could probably go on a Adidas app right now as we speak and probably get these sneakers. I actually won them in a the raffle, but from people I heard that they've just been sitting in stores. Um, I don't think they're that pretty hard to get. I won them in a the raffle, so it wasn't that hard. I just literally entered the raffle and then I won it. That was probably one of the first raffles i've ever won honestly and i'm honestly not surprised for this sneaker because like i said they are sleepers but if you wanted a pair like i said they are just sitting around in stores so if you wanted to you can just go pick a pair up for retail i think resale on these are like 380 or something like that that's not much for a pair of yeezys i know for the mist colorway their resale is like 280 and retail is actually 240 so you're damn near not making anything if you sell those on stock x because of all the processing fees and stuff like that enough with the blah 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 i know you guys are ready for this on foot review i'm about to give you guys another 360 of the shoe and as always make sure you leave a like click that subscribe button below it really helps out the channel thanks for all the love and support here's a 360 i'll see you guys soon.